Hello, and welcome to Cheapest Adventures. I'm back here on the Tech Ed Light server. Oh wait, no I'm not. I am on someone else's server for a change. I am on a guy called Effector. You can see he's online. I will link to his YouTube channel in the description. Um, this is not even Tech It. This is Feed the Beast. Um, I am in the, nether, in, the, in the nether right now, as you can see, just looking for some things. I'll go through that shortly, but I'll come back out now. Um, yeah, I didn't particularly want to do Feed the Beast originally. I had no intention of doing it as it was too similar to Tech It. The mods overlapped a lot of the things. It was, it was very similar overall, and I thought, don't bother. But I've given it a go, and there's so much different. So, yes, I'm doing some Feed the Beast. Um, I didn't record the first episode of this from scratch like I originally thought I was going to because a lot of the things I wanted to do was just tech it things. I was just going to build the same thing. See, I've got some nano armor, I've got a jetpack. Um, it's all very tech it so far. But the next few things I plan on doing are not. They are very not tech it. So, um, yeah, welcome to Feed the Beast on the Effectorcraft server. Um, you can see this is where I live. I live in a little village. Um, yeah, there aren't any villagers left. I don't know what happened to them. We won't talk about that. That's a very touchy subject. Um, one word, zombies. But, I'm gonna bring them back, and I'll get to that shortly too. This guy right here, no idea what he is. I uh, found it when I was walking around. I mined it up, brought it with me. I thought it looked pretty freaking cool. I mean, how awesome is that? Yeah, no idea what it does, but hey. This is my humble abode. It's pretty shitty. Um, it's just full of chests, full of crap at the moment. It's, I'm just, yeah, quarrying loads and loads of crap. I got some good things in here, lots of shiny things in some of them. Um, and then my normal build craft set up there, industrial craft. Um, I've got a pulverizer this time instead of a macerator because macerators are expensive. Check this out. Uh, macerator here. Just diamonds and, and bronze machine holes or machine frames and and gates and, and diamond dust. I mean, it, it was, I couldn't do it. I just, I looked at that and thought, no. No, not doing that. Not doing that at all. Um, a lot of things in Feed the Beast have been like that, actually. I've gone to make something and looked at the recipe and said, what the hell is that? That's really strange. So I've gone to some different things and I plan on doing some different techniques too. One thing that scared the crap out of me, look at the quarry. Just just look at the recipe for this quarry. Can I, can I, there we go. It's a diamond drill and a pulsating chipset or an advanced, advanced circuit. I mean, advanced circuits are fairly dear on their own. But a diamond drill? Made of the mining drill and more circuits and titanium ingots. How the bloody hell do you make titanium ingots? I looked through ingots and it says you should just like compress the nuggets or put the dust in a blast furnace. I can't find a way to make titanium unless you mine it up. I'm not sure. I haven't found any yet. But it's just a crap load of really so much stuff. I just, no, I just, no, not doing that. <laughs> so instead of that, I made the cheapest chip mining turtle. This one here is called Clive. I did have another one called Betty, but she was lost in the nether. Um, yeah, it's a awkward um, subject. We're not going to talk about that. Um, out with, oh, my jetpacks died. That's why I came back from the nether before. Uh, yeah, I was looking for a... Um, well, lots of things in the nether, actually. Um, the first thing that I plan on doing that's sort of feedy the beastie. Uh, let's get this guy charging. Um, you can see I do have an Avon MFE, but it's powered by a generator. A generator that actually has no coal left in it now. So I'm very primitive at the moment. I've got just a normal coal generator powering my MFE, which isn't, it's not hacking it. I'm running out of resources. But that's what little Clive down here is for. He's my quarry. I just plonk him down somewhere and he brings in the goodies. But this thing right here is a soul forge. This, I think, is from... I want to say it's from the Thormcraft mod. I don't know for sure though, but it's not in tech yet, that's all I know. Um, I have done this thing already. What I needed to do was get soul sand, which I did get some, and then you smelt it to turn it into... I've got chests full of crap everywhere. Smelt it into vile dust. You mix the vile dust with glowstone dust, which I think is in one of these. Uh, yeah, mix it with those and you get something else. I can't remember the name of. You put those something else into the bottom of this, eight of them you need, and a diamond in the top, and that makes three of these bad boys right here, the soul shards. Um, the soul shards essentially allow you to create your own mob spawner. Um, it's not as simple as that though, you have to put one of them in your hot bar along the, along the very bottom. Oh my god, there's a zombie at the door. Hello? Zombie? Oh god, where is he? There's no villagers left, what are you doing? Why are you terrorizing their homes? I don't think the servers actually actually are on hard mode, so they shouldn't be able to get in. So I'm not really sure how all the villagers are dead. But, yeah. Um, 
the, yeah, I'm, we're not going to go there, but I'm going to bring them back, and I've got a plan. You also may notice that this villager house here has some uh, funny coloured wood in it. It's cherry wood. Um, I think it's something to do with these guys back here. There are uh, uh, apiaries, which can breed bees, um, but for some reason it doesn't look like it's actually going to work, because it's, it's, I mean, it, earlier I said it's the wrong environment or something. So, uh, so yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with that, but I'm going to look at that at some point. And um, yeah, this village was a mess on the mountains. Let me show you the side. I've hung my jetpack on, but um, you can see that this this mountain reaches the edge. I've put all this flooring in myself and all this cobblestone. Um, it just sort of hangs off and goes all the way down to the bottom there. I've started building a little wall around it. I'm going to make a sort of like a massive sort of enclosed castle eventually, but that's for another day. Um, that's what I'm doing with all the cobblestone I'm getting from all these this mining. <laughs> it's just so much crap, so much crap. Um, so yeah, what you can do, you put one of these soul shards in your hotbar, and you kill a mob with it in your hotbar, and then that soul shard is tied to that mob. And then when you mix that mob... Oh, what the hell, zombie? You're interrupting me! God's sake! Um, yeah, so you, you kill, when, once you've got enough kills of that type of mob... I can't find him. He's over here somewhere. Oh, he's inside! What the hell? That's a new one. Um... When you've got enough kills of that kind of mob, you can you can get enough souls in it, and then those souls um, can be used to put them in a soul cage, and they, that cage will then spawn that kind of type of mob. Um, it's quite long-winded, but it seems like it's gonna be worthwhile. But I'm not sure which mob I should do it. What mob should I make a spawner of? Because you can make them out of um, mobs from other uh, dimensions, so you can make it out of like um, say blazes or ghasts, most technically if you wanted to. I'm not sure. If it'll work. I think it'll work with ghasts. I don't see why it wouldn't. But I'm just wondering what's the best one to do. What's the most advantage, advan, advantageous one, I should say. Um, what's going to give me the most XP? What's going to give me the best, best, the best items? I know skeletons are pretty good because they drop bones, which are used for bone meal. They drop bows, they drop arrows, and they drop quite good XP too. So maybe, maybe skeletons, but a bit boring. I find something different. I some food. I got bread. Good. Um, so yeah, um, at some point I'm going to get my my trademark. Uh, train station energy producing system so I got you know the tree chopping I got on my second light server I will do that at some point oh hello Reba. Um, I'll also show you where I mine the most it's all under here this is a, like a 20 by 20 block mining thing it just goes all the way down to bedrock it's huge that's where I get all my resources from I've got tons of diamonds I mean turtles are so overpowered so early on in the game you can make them well, the most expensive part of a mine turtle is the diamond pick you find three diamonds and boom, you have got infinite resources. You just chuck some coal in it and it'll mine for days. It's incredible. So yeah, a couple of turtles and you're laughing. Um, so yeah, that's my next plan is with the uh, the soul shards, make a spawner. But what I do plan on doing, which isn't much to do with Feed the Beast, this is my own technique that I plan on doing, but I am I want to go to the nether again. Like re The reason I was there before is to get some... Um, Oh, what's it called? The uh, nether, nether wart. Yeah, yes, for potions. And I'm gonna start making some potions for the first time ever in Minecraft to make something that can um, heal zombie villagers. So I want to try and capture some zombie villagers and heal them, and then turn them into regular villagers, and then sort of let them do the naughties and jiggy up and repopulate the village. But that's what I'm gonna do once I've sort of. Uh, walled it all off, lit it all off, and made it really safe and a nice community for the villagers to be hustling and bustling. As you can see, oh my bed's on the floor. I threw it on the floor. As you can see, there's it's not safe around here at all yet. There's villagers and all the zombies everywhere, and there's monsters. I mean, I need to look at the mini map right now, and you can just see a field of green of zombies and creepers and the um, spiders that look like Union Jacks. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't think they can actually get through doors. Not I don't know how they all died. I guess they must have just ran away in in, in horror, which I wouldn't blame them. Wouldn't judge them for that. But yeah, there's not a single one left. Even the house down here that um, originally had absolutely no way of getting to it, I, I mined up myself to try and find the door. It still doesn't. still doesn't. Um, yeah, even the villagers that lived in here have gone. Don't know how it happened. It's a mystery. But yeah, we're moving on. Um, so yeah, this is my, my little Feed the Beast area on the Effectocraft server. Like I said, I will be linking to his channel in the description. Ooh, frame rate looking down on this. Bloody hell, so much going on. But yeah, this is my little spot of the server. Um, I'm I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, it's only been going for a day or two, but I've put quite a lot of hours into it. The day that it, it launched with the new world, I um, was actually off work, so I put a crap load of hours into it, hence why I've got so much stuff. I did have a full nano armor, but yeah, we had an incident in the nether, and I've gone back to diamond for a little while. 
Nano wasn't really that good. I mean, it's durable because you can charge it up again, but when you're charging from um, a, basically a generator, it seems a bit pointless. So I might stick with diamond for a little while until I can uh, enchant it. But yeah, this is my little Feed the Beast area on the Effectograph server. Hope you like it. If you do want to see more and see how it progresses, look, I mean, look how cool this floor is. If you've never played Feed the Beast before or any of the mods that add this biome in, this is impressive, isn't it? I mean, just look at this biome. It's bloody ginger. It's amazing. And we've got this freaky looking blue tree in the corner here. It's just, it's just amazing. I, I, I love it. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, a lot of you guys have asked me to do Feed the Beast and I, I was always very addicted before. I didn't want to do it because of the overlap with Tech It, but... It's different enough to make it its own thing, I think. So if you do want to see more, be sure to subscribe to it. And, you know, I really appreciate your feedback and your comments and things. Um, let me know what I should be doing. And the main question I'm asking about this, let me know what I should make my mob spawner out of. Because I've got those shards left and ready to be uh, to be used. I just don't want to waste them on a mob I'm never going to use. You can see I got stuck down there once with the nerd pole up there. Um, so yeah, what would you say is the best spawner to have? If I can have spawn any animals from... From Feed the Beast. I think there is actually a couple new dimensions I can get to. There's like one in some sort of Twilight Forest, I think, in Feed the Beast. Twilight Forest? something. I don't know what it is. But you get the third puddle of water, that's all I know. So I'm going to try doing that at some point. And I guess you guys can join me along for the ride with that, if you want to see it. So yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Twitchy door. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. The feedback is very appreciated. And I'll see you all later.